So this is your lower primary mathematics life lesson uh, for the P3 and P4. If you're P5, welcome to join us, all right? Uh, you might need to do some additional revision. That is perfectly okay. So today, right, we are doing the part two since uh, from last week. Uh -huh. So last week, we did something called what? The word problems, whole numbers, right? Yeah. And we covered what? We covered a few of the kind of other topics already. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, this one is the introduction. Uh. Okay. Let's skip that. Ah, this one is more important. So the previous week, right, we have actually done the guess and check and the supposition method, the unit stack, the grab, uh, gap and difference, not grab, <laughs> the gap and difference and the before and after model and all this. All right, we have done number one to four. All right, last week. So last week, this is like part one, uh, part one of the lesson. Okay, to prepare you for your WA and also for your mid-year exam. Uh, for this portion onwards, right, will be today's lesson. Okay, but today's lesson, not only are we doing whole numbers, we'll be doing a little bit of fractions also. Okay, for P3, P4, right, these two are the most important component in your entire level already. All right, fractions and whole numbers. So if you can do, write down some of the important notes, write down some of the important points and let's do the questions together. If it comes out for your mid-year exam or your WA, yes, then you will have the advantage over your classmates. At least you know how to do, they don't know how to do, you will get the points. Cool? Okay, let's go. So the first thing that we are going to talk to about today is number five. All right, NTK. Uh, NTK stands for what? Need to know. Lah, huh? NTK stands for need to know. So number five is talking about the age difference never change. Okay. Uh, this one very important. Now uh. you all must understand something called age difference never change. All right. It means what? For example, uh, for example, I'm Berna. That's me. Uh. All right, Berna. Uh, this year I am <laughs> 25 years old. Uh, bluff you one, right? I'm not 25 years old this year. I'm older than that. So for example, this year I'm 25 years old and you, you are maybe primary four, right? Primary four is how old? 10 years old? For 10, uh. all right? Or nine, uh. okay? 10, uh. 10 is easier number, Ken. All right, and you, let's say you, all right? You are 10 years old. Ken? Okay, so can you see something? All right, you're 25, I'm, I mean, you are 10, I'm 25. <laughs> next year, next year, you'll be 11, right? And I'll be 26, correct not? Next, next year, you'll be 12, you're taking your PSLE and I'll be 27, okay? Can you see something that is similar? All right, this thing that is similar is actually called the differences, all right? What's the meaning of differences? Check this out. Differences means big minus small, right? If I take 25 to minus 10, what's the difference, huh? is a 15 years. If I take 26 minus 11, what is the difference? Uh? It is 15 years. If I take 27 minus 12, uh, it is still 15 years. Can you see or not? This is called what? This is called difference never change. All right, age difference never change. Okay, so we are, you and me, right? We will always be 15 years apart. Understand or not? All right, so we are going to use this concept to do these few questions. Come, let's take a look at question uh, 14. Sharon, uh, Sharon is 41 years old now, and the son is seven years old now. In how many years' time will she be three times her son's age? All right, some of you say, hey, I want to do listing method. Huh? You want to list until when? What's the meaning of listing method? Okay, Sharon is 41 this year. The son is seven years. Then how? Next year, she'll be 42. The son will be 8. Next next year, she'll be 43. The son will be 9. Then you list until what? You list until you get a 3 times, is it? Huh, really? Uh? Are you going to do that? All right. So you can do that. You can do that. Nothing wrong with that. But sometimes listing method is very time consuming. All right. Listing method is a bit time consuming. Oh, very good. Uh, Wesley and huh? All right, you all got the answer already uh, so fast. Uh. All right, so what do I usually do? I'll compare something called age difference never change. So I will draw out something called the present first. Okay, present means now. Uh, huh? This is present or this is now. So now, right, what do I compare? I compare Sharon's, which is the mommy and the son. Oh, the son got no name. Okay, never mind. We call it son. All right, so I will write out some of the basic information first. All right, for some of you still haven't get the answer. All right, this is how I will do it. So Sharon is 41 years old. All right, so usually I'll try to summarize out the story. And the son is seven years old. Okay, and, 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 and I know, uh, I know one very important thing. Differences never change. So I purposely go and find the differences between them. 
All right. So differences is simply 41 minus 7. All right. If I use my mental calculation, my toes to calculate, it is 40, 34 years old. All right. They will be 34 years apart. Okay. They will always be 34 years apart. Huh? Then what happened? In how many years time? Oh, so something happened. So this is called a uh, future. Huh? Can we call present and future? All right. This is called future, right? All right. In future, what happened? All right. Both their age will start to increase. And, and what happened? The mummy, Sharon is the her, huh? The mummy versus the son, all right? The mummy will be three times the son. Three times means what? I'm going to draw three units, all right? One, two, three for the mummy, all right? So the mummy will be three times the son's age, like that. That's in future. Can you see that? Eh? You mean the mother will be older than the son? Definitely, la, duh. all right? So, so where is the differences in terms of my future drawing? Can you see that this portion here? Is the part whereby Sharon, the mummy, is older than the son. Yeah, so that's called the differences. And differences down here, right, is equal to what? I already say already, age different never change. So they will always be 34 years apart. So the difference down here will be 34. Can you see? All right, eh? so what is this? This is actually what I call two units. So two units represents 34. I can simply go and find one unit. One unit is equal to 34 divided by two. Show the steps. All right, your teacher will appreciate it. It will be 17, all right, 17. So that one unit is 17 now, which means, all right, hey, GG, hello. Which means that one of these, right, one of these, right, one of these, right, this is one unit, huh? the sun, huh? this one will be what? 17, huh? all right. So remember present, present the sun is seven years old. Are you still following me or not? Present, right, the sun is seven years old. Then, Three times, right, in order to be the mother three times the son, right, the son must be 17 years old. So now they're asking, in how many years' times will this happen? Oh, it's easy. Lah. It must be 17 minus 7. In 10 years' times, this will happen. Can you see now? And that's how you get the answer. Can? Okay. Just now when I say listing method, right? Okay, as I say, right, it's not wrong, lah, but it's a little bit time consuming. So if you do the listing method, it will look something like that. Okay, Sharon is the mummy. This is the son. So now the mummy is 41, the son is seven. Next year, the mom will be 42 and the son will be eight. Then will be 43, down here is nine, and so on. You are supposed to list out in order for the mummy to be what? Three times, uh, so you keep listing out. Uh, 45, down here is 11. 46, down here is 12. It's not three times yet. 47, down here is 13. It's not 12 yet. 48, down here is 14. It's not 12 yet. 49, down here is 15. It's not 12 yet. 50, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not three times yet. Down here is 50. This is 16. Eh? Is it? Eh? Did I do something wrong? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Not yet. Another one. 50 and what? 17. <gasps> oh. All right. So do you know that 51, right? 51 is three times of 17. Can you see? 51 divided by 17. Or you cannot divide like that. Huh? Never mind. You think of what? You think of 17 times 3 is what? 17 times 3 is uh, 51. Can you see? All right. So this is like the answer. Law. This is like the answer. All right, 51 and 17. So are you going to do something called listing method like that? All right, what, what happens if they, you know, who knows Sharon becomes like 100 years old? Oh, you're going to list until 100. Lah. It's going to be crazy. Ah. Can you see not? So it's not wrong, lah, children. It's not wrong, but there is some way of doing faster. You think of the faster method, can or not? All right, because exam, right, there will be this time limit one. All right, so the time will move ahead of you. Then you say, hey, I got no time. It's actually not no time. Lah. It's actually because you never use the right concept. Lah. Cannot. Okay. So nothing wrong with listing, but try to use the this method. The age difference never change. That would be the best method. Okay. Next question. Huh? Okay. Down here we have Mr. Ama is 48 years older. Oh, older means what? That's the difference. Very good. That's the difference already. Okay. So once again, I'll start off with the present. All right. If got information I put in, if don't have, it's okay. Present and future. Can? Is it future? Because they say in five years' time. Right? So present, uh, wait, uh, is it Mr. Ahmad is 48 years older than the daughter? All right, so do we know Ahmad's present age? And the daughter, Farah, okay, Farah. 
do we know their present age? Okay, if don't have, never mind. Lah. If don't have, never mind. Uh, then what do we have? Uh, they say that in five years' time, Mr. Ahmad will be four times as old as Farah. Oh, 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 so this one, right? The future, right? The future down here is five years' time. All right, so let me write future. Future, uh, five years' time. All right, five years' time, what happened? Christian say that what? Uh, Mr. Ahmad, right, will be how many times? Four times versus the daughter, Farah. All right, Ahmad will be four times. Means I draw the model. Four units, is it? One, two, three, four. Ah, this is Mr. Ahmad four times, and this is Farah. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so answer is seven. Really? No lah, Wesley, you're right. Hey, no, 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 Wesley, you're wrong. Hey, they're looking for what? How old is Farah now? Like? Hey, check your work, please. Children, please check your work. So anyway, presently, uh, presently, right? All right. The difference down here, right? Even though, right, the question never directly give it to me, but they say what is 48 years older. All right. This one is actually the differences, really. This is actually the differences, really. 48 years apart. All right. They will always be 48 years apart. Can okay, they never tell me the present age of both? Never mind, all right. But they got tell me what they got tell me the uh, difference between them, all right. So, 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 what happened? Eh, that means what five years later, age different never change, age different never change, which means that down here, right, these three units down here is the what is the difference, right, between the age and age difference never change. That means down here is 48 years old, 48 years apart. Can you see or not? They will always be 48 years apart. So how many units are we talking about here? Three units, right? Ah, then you can say really, you can say that three units represents the 48. Usually I find one unit first. All right. After I can find one unit, right? I can do the entire question without fear. So 48 divided by three, you can actually do a, a working down here. You're got are you you're sure you got correct answer or not? How come I see a lot of wrong answer? All right, one unit is 16. Huh? Some of you write 16 as the answer. Is that true? All right, is that true? Is that what the question is looking for? Ah, uh -huh, Venice, 11 is correct. Diha is correct. Hey, Chop is wrong. Huh? Alex, uh, 16 is wrong. Huh? They are looking for Farah now. Like, hey, hey, hey. Now, like, now means what? Present. They are looking for here. Can you see not? Ah, five years time, right? She will be what? This is five years time. This is five years time. So that's why I draw my drawing right on the left and on the right. On the left is like present. Yes, GG, correct, 11. On the left is present. On the right is the future. Can you see not? So when you read storybook, so you read from left to right, lah, correct or not? All right. So in future, right, this one unit, right, this is one unit, huh? Farah is 16, you know. All right. But that is five years time. But the question is looking for now. Now means what? Now means now, lah. All right. The five years haven't. Uh, haven't happened yet. All right, the five years haven't happened yet. So you must take your 16 minus the five years, which is uh, 11 years old. Can you understand the question or not? Can you understand the question? Yeah, it's talking about now, not about future. So be careful, read your question. Don't assume, assume that you know the question very well. All right, so go and read the question again. How old is Farah now? Now. Ah. Can don't give away careless marks, uh, right? It's not worth it, one. Right? Teacher want to give you the mark, please secure it yourself. Okay, question sixteen next. 